Hey guys, Chris Robinson here. Just wanted to go through and give you another uh, entry in my series on poker faux pas or uh, poker etiquette. One of the things that I see quite a bit at poker games is people will be talking about their cards or talking about the hands. Um, and a lot of times you'll see this when people have folded, you know, on a flop or pre-flop, you know, because the betting was too high for them, whatever else. They didn't have very good cards. So they throw them in, and then when the flop comes out, they go, "Oh man," you know, and and everybody else at the table now knows that, okay, this guy, you know, say the flop came ace to seven, you know, we now know that, you know, he probably had maybe a seven deuce or something like that, but we know that there's some cards out there that match the flop that are out of play. So again, he's giving people an unfair advantage, especially if somebody is maybe ordering dinner or doing something and they're not paying attention to this guy's reaction and some other people saw it. So now, some people have this information, some people don't. So very unfair advantage for a lot of people. The other thing is that when they're out there talking about their cards, they may even actually say, you know, oh man, I just, you know, shouldn't have folded that nine or whatever. You know, okay, well now we know the guy had a nine. Um, and so anyway, just again, very poor etiquette, very unfair to a lot of people. The other thing that a lot of people do is they'll call out the possible hands that could be out there based on what's on the table. So after the flop, in the river, they may say, you know, oh, who's got the ace of diamonds or whatever else because there's a four card flush out there. Well, maybe the person who has the ace of diamonds doesn't want everybody to know that that's possibly out there because the guy he's betting into may not have even thought about it. You know, maybe he's thinking the guy's on a straight or maybe he thinks the guy's got three of a kind or something, but he doesn't, he just for some reason did not realize that the flush is out there. Well, now the guy knows and the guy may not call the bet or he may not raise like he was going to. And the guy who's got the ace of diamonds that's going to take down the pot with a, with a nut hand, he now lost, you know, possibly a, a large chunk of money because you opened your mouth and said something stupid. So, again, um, uh, just it's proper etiquette to just keep your mouth shut, especially if you're not in the hands. You don't need to be calling out the hands that are on the table. You know, when there's a, a weird looking straight out there, a lot of times people don't see those, all right? And part of the poker, or part of the, you know, especially playing. Texas No Limit Hold'em with the cards on the table, one of the things you want to do is, is be able to have that sneaky hand and be able to catch somebody and, and be able to take down a large pot. You want to get them to push all into you, possibly. You know, that's the ultimate goal, really. And if there is a weird straight out there, maybe it's a skip straight, you know, where you've got, say, 7, 8, and then you've got 10 jack, you know, or something, and you've got a 9 in your hand, or, you know, and, and maybe the person who you're betting into didn't realize that there was a straight on the board because they came in, you know, weird sequ sequential order and they just, their brain didn't pick up on the fact that there's a straight possible out there and they're sitting there betting, you know, because there's two sevens on the table, let's say, and they've got a seven in their hand, they have trips, they're getting ready to push in a big stack, and then some other Yahoo over here in third position, let's say, who's not even in the hand, says, oh man, I wonder who's got that, you know, that nine, I wonder who's got that straight. Now the guy who has trips, who's going to push all in, now realizes, oh, wow, that guy could have a straight. Wow, he, he might actually have, he bet anyway. He probably does have a straight. And he's going to check, and you're not going to get any money out of him. You know, and then when you bet, maybe he'll fold because he, he thinks you got the straight. So again, that person just lost out on possibly a quite a bit of money because you opened your mouth and let the other guy know. So if you're not in the hand, keep your mouth shut. Even if you are in the hand, you really shouldn't be talking about possible hands on the table. You shouldn't be talking about your cards at all because, you know, if you're playing with some people you don't know, Maybe they think you came with a buddy and you're calling out these cards and you're helping your buddy out. But anyway, it's just poor etiquette, so just don't do it.